right imagery can be a huge strategical tool for your e-marketing templates. In this video, I want to show you how to add images to your templates in ACT Marketing Automation. Once you've logged into your ACT database and you've gone to the Marketing Automation area from the left navigation, make sure you go to the Email Templates at the top, and now I'm going to choose this new template I've created. It's called Monthly Newsletter. This loads the template that I'm slowly building. You can see I've created some color backgrounds and the layout is structured by rows and I've started to add some text to this template. But now I want to add some images. So in the content tab, I'm going to click the image block and I'm going to drag it over to my layout and I'll drop it here. Now this acts as a placeholder for my image. To locate the image that I want, click the Browse button inside that image block. This is going to launch the File Manager screen inside ACT Marketing Automation. In order to use images, you need to add them to your library first. And there are three choices to do this. Upload lets you use your own images from your computer. Import will allow you to use photos that you find on the internet, or even from your personal accounts from services like Facebook or Dropbox or Instagram. Keep in mind though that when you're using images in this way, you should first obtain the legal rights that you need to use any photo that you don't own. And finally at the right we have a button called Search Free Photos. This will plug you into a library of over a half a million images published under the Creative Commons Zero License. So those are all free to use. And once you've found the photo that you want from any of these three areas, you can import them into your ACT Marketing Automation Library. I want to give you a quick word of advice though. It's, it's a good idea to organize your files into folders so that they're easier to find down the road. The new folder button on the right lets you create folders and then you can name them. As you can see here, I've created a folder for logos, products, and flavor. And this will just help me stay organized. When you import a photo, make sure that you're first inside the folder before you do any of these three import options. And then once your image has been imported into the library, you can click the blue insert button to add it to your template. I'm gonna add my company logo to my layout. Act Marketing Automation will automatically resize this image for you, shrinking it to fit into the content block. If you wanna make any changes, you can just click this image and then the content properties area will pop up on the right. Let's quickly take a look at some of these settings. Auto width is enabled by default but you can disable it if you'd like to change the width of this image. Right now it's set to 85% of my original image size, but I can shrink it down if I want by sliding the bar to the left. By default, the full width on mobile option is disabled because many of these images will be too large to display sensibly on a mobile device. You can change the alignment of this image to left, center, or right. And dynamic images can be used if this image will be replaced later on. If you want to use dynamic images, what you're basically doing is you're linking to an image on your website somewhere else instead of using this import method. If you've chosen the wrong photo, you can always click the Change Image button, which will take you back to your file manager. And at that point, you could swap this image out with something else. The Apply Effects and More button lets you add all kinds of effects, frames, stickers, text, and other artistic modifications to your images. When you get a chance, play with each of these yourself to see what fancy effects are available. Directly below that is the URL field. It's a bad idea to change this URL because this is where your image is located. The alternate text is what users will see when they hover over your image, or if they've chosen not to download images with their email. So I'm just gonna type in Cloudwalker logo because I want to put some text here that conveys the message of the image just in case my audience doesn't see my image. In the next section there's an action area and here you can link this image to a web page or even a new email message. So for my email let's say if they click my Cloudwalker logo I might want to link that to the home page for my company. In the block options area you can also add padding if you'd like to add a bit of blank space between your image and the surrounding blocks, just click the plus button to increase the padding on all sides, or toggle the more options if you'd like to add specific padding to any of the four sides of your image. And finally, you can choose to hide this image 
on your desktop or mobile devices by switching back and forth between those two. As always, scroll to the top and click the blue Save button when you're finished. Next up, we're going to look at adding a button content item to this template.